Good morning. It's Monday, May 8th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When God Lets the Arrow Fly, and our scriptures, Exodus chapter 13. When Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to the promised land. God said, if the people are faced with a battle, that might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. When God directed Moses to lead his children out of bondage in Egypt, it would have been so easy to march them directly to Canaan land and let the party begin. That would have been the way I would have planned the trip. It's about 775 miles from Egypt to Israel, so they could have walked straight there in two months. But they didn't cross the Jordan River for 40 years. Evidently, there was a lot more to Israel becoming God's people than just ten plagues and a visit by the death angel before they would be ready for the prosperity of the promised land. There's much I do not understand about how the sovereignty of God intersects with the free will of human beings. However, the Israelite 40-year layover in the desert is a great teacher of how we can navigate being free will beings created by a sovereign God. It all comes down to using the free will we've been given to cooperate with the sovereignty of God's plans rather than just do what pleases us. After all, it is God's sandbox and we are visitors, whom God wants to adopt as family. It pays to be on one's best behavior. When it comes to how that behavior shapes our relationship with God, I have this image of an archer with a bow pointed at a target. The arrow flies released by the archer. God is the archer. We are the arrows. The target to which God points each of us is the place closest to God's heart. He wants us to hit the bullseye, so to speak, and lodge there. The purpose is blessing. God wants us close to the source of the universe's wealth of wisdom and well-being. He wants what's best for us. The problem for we arrows, having been released from the bowstring, is we have freedom to be blown about by gusts of winds or objects, all kinds of sins against hitting the target. While God's eye is never off the arrow he releases, our free will is a type of sovereignty over the moments we're granted to live. We're pointed at the right target. We have free will to choose how we respond to the direction we're given. That direction is clearly stated in the prophecy of Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. The arrow God releases into this vastness of free will invariably chooses to do what is wrong, love power, and walk arrogantly and selfishly despising God. And God allows that. Full stop. The full weight of sovereignty of humankind over their destination is a gift of God to his loved creation. But the weight of that gift's incredible value is the corresponding accountability of consequence for corrupting the gift against the holiness of God. Again, full stop. We despise God's sovereignty with our free will, and the result is spiritual Chernobyl. For you today, you have freedom. Choose wisely how to cooperate with God today. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.